G'day, thanks for joining us for Sunday afternoon football. Anthony Hudson here live. Football back at GMHBA Stadium. Well, joining me is the former Melbourne skipper. He played 226 games with the Demons, Gary Lyon. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Hutto. I've been waiting for this match all week. Well, today it's Geelong versus Hawthorne. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. They run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. Captains converge for the toss of the coin. Geelong kicking to the left of screen. Both these teams coming off losses. Just waiting for the opening siren now. And here we go, it's Geelong, taking on Hawthorne. Gives it to Goey, just stepped around his opponent with ease. Hunted down by Redmond. Brilliant chase. Brody just goes bang. Gaff just threw it. A chance to put one through here for the Cats. Broomhead lines up from long range. Atkins looks to get onto the football. Punches the kick. Rayner gets in a good position, puts boot to ball, taking a nice grab. Mundy gets it out of congestion. Loney presents and takes the mark. Goes with the kick. Rayner hangs onto that one. Uses it by foot. Good mark by Bontempelli. 45 metres out. He takes aim. It always looked close, but it hits the post. Looking for options now. Plays on from the kick in. Moved on by Cordy. The ball ends up going to ground. Webster unable to lay the tackle. He likes his chances from here. No issues with that drop punt. He's enjoying that goal. Hawthorne, get the opening goal. We resume hostilities. Wins the ruck duel. Kicks hurriedly. Atkins gets the loose ball. Constant pressure and rewarded. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Dunstan powers through the tackle. Fighting hard was Whitfield. Wants to keep it moving. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Birchall releases the ball. Missed the target. Brody manufactures a handball. Let him up. Well, well. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Won the hit out. Berry brushes off the tackle. Gives the old don't argue. Bonson Pally kicks it. Cockatoo got under it. Sinks the slipper into it. Does well to cut off the kick. 
Webster just kicks it long. Hits him hard, just dismisses his opponent. Great mark in the pack. Uses it now. They chase after the loose ball. Brody made a meal of that one. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Hawthorne, ruck work needs to be a bit better. Too many of their hitouts are getting sharked by the opposition. Doing well to intercept that kick. Cordy uses it by foot. Ends up turning this ball over. Whitfield winds up and goes long. Strong mark in the contest. The Hawks are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Eventually the ball goes over the line. Radar coming on. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. Loney slick with the hands. Close call there, but it just made it for a score. He puts through his first goal. He's excited about that one. Back with another set of bounce. Hawthorne could win the clearances, but they haven't been effective and they haven't turned them into scoring opportunities. Gets it away, picks it up, gives the old don't argue. Dropped a mark he should have taken. Bottom pallet now heading to the bench for a break. Ball up call. Ruffhead won it down. Broomhead controlled the difficult ball. Hawkins handballs to no one in particular. Up for grabs for Power Pepper. He intercepts the ball well. Short sends one up towards the wing. It's a foot race to get this one. Picked up under pressure. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. And the ball ends up over the line. Thrown in now. Hawthorne have been controlling stoppages and lead the clearances. If they can clean up their ball use after the clearance, they can give themselves a chance. Zeebel throws the ball away. Get some distance on the kick. Broomhead determined to reach the ball. Langdon with the opportunity. That's a monster kick. And it's a goal. That's his first. His teammates rush over. Geelong kick there first. The game is back underway. Clears the contest. Clean from the half volley. Rough edge is too high with the tackle. Alice Yolman has resources out wide. Doing well to intercept that kick. Puts it on the boot. Into the post it goes. Geelong now only trail by six. Plays onto himself. Elects to kick. It's a turnover. Power Pepper going for number one. And pumps it through the big sticks. Of course, Hunter. Celebrating hard. No margin to speak of now. About to resume play. Rough head thumped it clear. Opportunity for Hawkins. Licks with hands. Ball gets cut off. Just dismisses his opponent. Penetrating handball. Jettick rushes with the kick. Dug out the loose ball. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Chose to kick it. Finds a bit of room to mark. The kick from Stewart. The first quarter ends and the scores are all tied up.
What do you make of it all, Gaz? Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Thank you very much, Gaz. Ready to go for the second turn. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Swats it. Rough it onto the ball. Dishes it off. Ball picked up. Kennedy failing to get near it, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Gets his first possession of the match. Ten metres out. Moving on! Kept his head and kicked the goal. Of course, Hunter. Membry kicks his first. Look at them celebrate that effort. Geelong cleared it now by a goal. That's a really good team goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Hawthorne are winning the ball around the contest but aren't converting it into scores. They need to find a way to use it better on the outside. We're back in the middle now. Ruffy got a fist to it. Berry kicks hurriedly. Picks up the loose ball. 
chose to kick it. The boundary line wins. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Linking by hand. Gathers it now. Wasting a lot of effort there. He flicks it over. Cordy slams it onto the boot. Kennedy. Hurried kick. Revo Couldn't keep his hands on it. McGovern. Goes for home. A great goal. He's enjoying that goal. Geelong have kicked the last four goals. Two-goal lead for Geelong. He's got the footy in his hands. Virtual couldn't hang on to the ball. Clears the ball from the contest. Spent it before he earned it. Got the hands free. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Touched across the line. Henderson deciding where to go with the kick here. Ends up turning this ball over. 50 metres out. Berry thumps it towards goal. Oh, just hits the post. Geelong starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 27 to 13. Found space for an easy mark. Berry drops the mark. Found a way to keep it alive. Needs a bit of a rest. Couldn't keep it alive. It's out of play. Webster runs onto the field. Will get the ball tossed back into play. Ball tossed back in. Clears the contest. The umpire will ball it up. Brown thumps it forward. Thank you, guys. I'll have it. And we'll get a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto. And we can just sit back and enjoy it. Redmond not wasting time. Alex to play on. A great mark taken there. Wants to keep moving. The mark has been taken. Wants to play on. Looking to kick goal number two. Just couldn't get it to curve enough. Hawthorne behind by 13. Cordy with the kick in duties. Loney there to mop up. Dug out by Conker. Picked off the deck. They can link up now. They are happy with that effort. Atkins enjoying that goal. Just under two goals the difference now. About to resume play. Swatson doing well was Brown. Kennedy controlling the airwaves on this occasion. 50 metres out. It on. Going for goal number one. A time to celebrate. Couldn't quite with the mark. They get around him after that effort. Geelong, Cleek, Cawthorn, 33 to 20. Back in the middle to resume play. Thrashes it. Has it now. He's got the football now. Dunstan attracted a crowd. Big tackle. Redmond grabbed it clean. Finds his man. Alice Yolman links up with a chance to run. Cameron found some space and marked. Takes an uncontested mark. That's a big one off there. That would have been a big goal. The Hawks close the gap to 12. Teammates break for him. Cordy plays on. Got boot to ball. Savage marks uncontested. Puts it on the boot. A big contested grab. Pittard looking to rebound with his kick. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Dugowie drives the kick. Alice Yolman flew high, but didn't hold on. Takes a strong mark. Moves it on. A piercing kick from Cockatoo. Putting his skills on display. Dunstan goes for goal. 
That one will really lift them. No doubt about it. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Celebrating hard. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Geelong got behind in the uncontested footy, but so far they've made sure it hasn't been too damaging for them. Ruffin needs a chance to rest. Marking in space was Kennedy. A chance to put one through for his side. That goal is a cracker. Pretty happy with that one. Two goals the margin for Geelong. Thump clear. And now Dunstan couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Decides to kick. The ball ends up with Virtual. Goes with the kick. Gaff hangs on to that one. Gaff has resources out wide. Manages to get a hand to it. With quick hands, putting on the bump was rough head. Sweeping handball at full stride, receives the handball. Marks in a bit of space. Elects to kick. Mundy gets in a good position. Hawthorne fans would love to see this one sail through. He's put it through. He celebrates hard after that. Hawthorne reduced the margin. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Roughhead hurls it away. Clears the congestion. The mark is taken by Kennedy. 50 metres from home. He heads for home. What a kick. And he puts it through. That's number three. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Kennedy. The Cats lead by 12. We're back in the middle now. Hammers it. Is in his position. Broomhead. Brushed off easily. That's it for the first half. What can you tell us, Gas? Geelong have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Let's analyse the stats. The Cats keep turning the ball over from their forward thrusts. If they can hit more teammates, they can increase the lead. Thanks, Gary. Two quarters down and only two to go.
the third quarter has begun umpire ready to resume play thumps it clear he gains possession Pal Pepper hacks it on the boot Redmond just throw it Dugowie looks to build some momentum with this kick needs a big kick if he's going to put this through Marks now and can send it back he drives it uses it by foot gets into some space to mark this Membry decides to go it alone. His teammates rush over. Geelong could kick back-to-back -back goals. Now they lead by 18. Collected by Bontempelli. Bontempelli just threw it. Berry moves it now. Scoops up the ball. No prior. It'll be a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. He lays off the pass. He gets his hands on the footy. Oh. Webster running off for a break. We'll get a stoppage. Geelong are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Off hands. Just goes bang. Kicks it along. The ball rolls over the boundary line. Toss back into play. Punches it clear. Hawkins finds possession. Finding the loose ball with Broomhead. Looks to move it by foot. Piopolo uses the bump. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. The loose ball picked up. Puts boot to ball. A race for the loose ball. Fought hard to get a handball away. Just threw the ball. Moves it by foot. Mundy grabs that one. He gives chase to the footy. Cleanly picked up. Rough it. Heads onto the ground. And we'll get a ball up. Punched away. Brody puts it out in front. Hits the target by hand. Ball collected. Uses the bump. Using the fancy footwork. He just throws that ball. Savage elects to kick. Good body work to win the mark. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. The mark is taken by Short. Tries to release the pressure. Short throws the ball away. Slams it on the boot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Rough end. Pushes a low ball. Broomhead marks. 40 metres from home. He slams it towards goal. What a goal. Gets his first. Miles all round. Geelong have three in a row. 24 points the difference. He's the number one ranked player on the ground. The opposition need to get a hold of him. Rough end has the ball. A chance to reload the attack now. Just kicks it long. A lot of possessions for him. Drives it out of the pack. Takes that one strongly. Gardner drives the kick. Ends up marking uncontested. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top.
The tackle deserves a free and gets it. A great defensive effort. Good mark and looks to send it back. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Clears the contest. Just got the hands in the back there. Rayner gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Going for goal number one. Takes the mark. Reed with a chance if he can keep his cool. Drop punt straight through the middle. That's his first. He's excited about that one. Hawthorne reduced the margin. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Berry gets the ball. Cockatoo there to mop up. Listen to the roar of the fans. They love that decision with a driving kick. Good mark there. Webster elects to kick. Marks that ball uncontested. Stratton wants to play on. Spills the mark. Brody needs to lift. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Kick by Brody. Great mark. Geelong just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Hacking it out of there. Stratton got hands to it, using every ounce of energy he has left. Mundy loves that goal. They are turning this game around. About to resume hostilities. Ruffin clears the contest. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Takes possession. Off hands. Fights the good fight. Stratton clears the ball from the contest. Movement by hand. Webster hacking it out of there. Piopolo takes the mark uncontested. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Hawkins goes with the kick. Three-quarter time. The Cats, 57, plays Hawthorne, 45. A quarter of footy to go. The Cats walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Ruffhead continues to dominate this contest. He's having a fantastic game. Umpire ready to begin the final turn. Back with another set of bounce. Punched away. Gaff comes away with a ball. Chips it towards half forward. Rayner was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. 50 metres from home. Moving on. Going for goal number one. He delivers with a drop punt. He acknowledges the crowd. Hawthorne have kicked the last three goals. Still enough time to turn this around. Just gives it away. Has it now. Intercepted. Gaff has resources out wide. Gets into a good position to take that. That one hits the woodwork. Hawthorne now only trailed by five. He took his armchair with him and sat up on top. Hawthorne would love to make the most of this opportunity. They'll snatch the lead if this goes through. That's something to smile about. Atkins with a second goal. He just loved that one. They're in the lead now. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort.
Geelong need to tighten up once the ball leaves the contest. The opposition are getting lots of uncontested ball and it's hurting them on the scoreboard. The game is back underway. Thumps it clear. Did well not to confuse himself. McCarthy cuts it off. Kicks out of the congestion. Marks that ball uncontested. Coughed up by Stratton. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. He wins the ball in the air. Works it across the ground. The loose ball scooped up. Awkwardly got the handball out. He has the ball. Stratton getting in on the act. Zeebel moves it by hand. And now they're away. The ball in the hands of Birchall. Intercepted by Fontampalli. Kicks in heavy traffic. Jantak not getting much of it, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Well collected. He just can't get out of the action. Goes by hand to Birchall. Fontampalli gets on the end of that handball. The kick from Gaff. Alice Yolman found a way to mark that one. Moves the ball by foot. Picked off the deck. Umpire calls for the ball. It's a very tight game right now. Thump clear. McCarthy dug out the loose ball. It's somehow pitched over the line, and it's a goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Hawthorne by seven points. And we're back in motion. Hammers it. Berry with the ball. Dug it out. He looks like he needs a spell. What a lovely goal from there. Get some rewards for his efforts. Geelong close the gap to one. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. We resume hostilities. Swats it. Here's Zebel. Turns it over there. Just gets it onto the boot. Cameron couldn't hang on to the ball. Lobs the handball. Brody is streaming past and gets the footy. Wants to move it quickly. Membry marks it. This is kickable by his standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Congratulated by his teammates. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. They're in front. It's cut off by Bontempelli. Handballs with the ball now. Cordy couldn't keep his hands on it. Puts on a bump. Gets the handball away. Hurried kick. Cleanly picked up. Turned it over. Show some physicality. The umpire gives a free kick against McGovern. Easily takes the mark. Gaff kicks it. A clean pickup. He's got the football now. Gresham going for number one. Hits the post. And it's a behind. There's only a goal the difference. Considering the options on the kick in. Henderson moves it now. Ball off hands. Redmond not getting much of it, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Langdon wins the foot race, releases it under pressure. Rebound gathers it now. Short gets a quick kick away. He couldn't hang on. Gaff gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Unable to create the space. Outstanding pressure. Does well to keep it in play. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. The ball mopped up. Great mark under pressure. It's a long kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Zebel kicks it to the square. Takes it well. Releases the handball. Hands that ball to the opposition. Manufactures a handball. Slick with the hands. 
Ree picks it up. He decides to go for home. Summed it up and he delivers perfectly. A second goal in the bag. Pretty happy with that one. The scores are level. What a nail biter. We're back in the middle. Brown just swats it away. Let him up. Well, well. It'll be a ball up. The game has tightened right up. Punches it clear. Releases by hand. Broomhead fends off the tackle. Takes a simple grab. Moving on. Going for goal number one. That one rams into the post. The margin is one. Searching for a teammate. Henderson plays it to himself. We've seen sides come from behind before, but it just keeps getting better every time. How did you see that one, Gary? One side just wanted it more, and they deserve to get the result. Final scores are 71 to 70. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. Thanks, Hello. Until next time, that is.